Now, you know, I've got to attribute some of the experiences that I had to people that the Lord brought into my life at key times. And I'll tell you a, a powerful story that happened to me. There was a guy named Tom Dooley, and you can look him up on the internet. Last time I looked him up, he used to have a picture of him shaking George W. Bush's hand. He was a, he had a PhD in biochemistry and he was at a congregation in Alabama before I'd come back to the Catholic church. And I was involved in a young adults ministry and helping to plant a Protestant congregation in Birmingham that now has like 30,000 people. But at the time there was about 1500 people. And one of them was this guy, Tom Dooley. And Tom Dooley would come up to me on a Wednesday night and he would say, Scott, I've had nine amazing things happen to me this week. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about four of them. <laughs> is that how he approached This, this is what he would do. I mean, this, this guy was a real character. And my, my friend and I, I was actually going to Bible college at the time, and my friend Jacob and I would look at him and, and think, because see, his four stories, Larry, yeah. were so incredible. Right. Like, have you ever heard the Jim Caviezel story? The guy who played Jesus in the Passion of the Christ. Yeah, I've watched some YouTube and heard some stories about his experience playing Jesus. Okay, how he got struck by lightning while he's on the cross. And yeah. Have a, well, I saw this powerful YouTube of Jim Caviezel where he said he got his big breakthrough in a movie where he was on the way to meet with a director. He didn't have the part yet. This wasn't Passion. This was like Thin, thin Red Line, I think. He was praying his rosary on the way to the meeting. And then he, he leaves the rosary in the car. He's about to walk into the house. And the Holy Spirit puts it on his heart. No, grab your rosary. Bring it in with you. So he brings the rosary in. And he gets in a conversation with a girl who he thinks is the maid. And he ends up feeling led to give her his rosary. Okay. And it was his wife's heirloom. Her, his wife's grandma's rosary had been handed down on the family. He gives this what he thinks is the maid his rosary. She begins to weep. Wow. And he says, why are you crying? And she said, I had a good friend who gave me a rosary and that friend died and I lost that rosary. And just this morning I was asking God to replace that rosary for me. And you just stories like that happen all the time, okay. but they don't get people don't hear them. Right. So Jim Caviezel, the guy who ends up playing passion of the Christ, when this lady says this right at that time, the director walks in, and it turns out it wasn't the maid. It was the director's wife. Oh, no. Yeah, I so guess the wife's crying and weeping over this road, the signal grace. Yeah. Here she'd been asking God, replace this rosary. Jim Caviezel gives it. So, of course, he gets the part. So when you start having, so Tom Dooley comes into my life back in 2000, roughly 2001. And he's telling me his four stories of that week, Larry. Yeah. blew away my best supernatural story. And I looked at Jacob. I said, now this guy is either crazy or we need to be hanging out with him. Yeah. And that's what I said when I met you, Scott. <laughs> well, here's the thing. As I spent time with Tom, I developed the relationship with him and his stories. I mean, they're off the charts. In yeah. fact, he's probably right now. I haven't talked to him for a while, but you know, he was in China. He would go and speak at universities in China and he's been warning me for years that the Chinese, he said, we're going to see Chinese tanks roaming through Washington, D.C. This was a warning that he had gotten, he felt like, from the Lord. And he mentioned that. He actually spoke that out when he was in China speaking at a university. And a top communist official pulled him aside, brought him up to his apartment, and said, you shared things at that speech. He was, he's a biochemist. I don't know what he was supposed to be talking about. But he right. would just be talking to people, and then he would just break into things the Lord had been showing him. And this top communist official pulls him aside. He's not sure if he's going to be arrested, what's going on. And the guy pulls him in, and he wants to talk to me. He said, you knew things that only God could know, and I want to know about this God of yours. This wow. is a Tom Dooley story. So Tom said to me, Scott, when I was your age in Christ, he said, I didn't have as many supernatural revelatory things happening. You're going to grow in these things, but you need to devote yourself to prayer. You need to become, you need to, to sell everything, sell the farm. You know, this Jesus, he, it's the pearl of great price. You need to get rid of, you need to put everything into him and he'll do some supernatural stuff. So I feel like you just wait, man. You're going to be having story after story after story after story before you know it. Well, and I've been faithfully attending mass. I've been, uh, you know, asking God to come into my life in a more profound way. Uh, I struggled with prayer, but Transformer Larry is... Uh, is here to stay and uh, I'm just I'm an open book I'm gonna share it all in this podcast and um, I'm sure those stories are gonna turn into amazing stories 